Hello everyone, I'm back again after the interruption. So again, a very good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all of the viewers. And uh, prior to the interruption, because of the internet, we were talking about the relative weakness of the major currencies against the dollar in uh, today's session. We have seen most of the currencies like Euro, AUD, the NZD, JPP, CAD, CHF and other currencies like JPY also uh, losing ground and uh, the dollar has been on the bullish spree. And you can say that this is uh, more of a correction or consolidation phase after the losses the dollar experienced in the earlier part of this week. So let us now get to the J4X4, the newly released trading platform from the Nikoscopy Bank SA. This is the chart for the GPP USD where we saw the fresh daily low being formed at 1530 GMT. And uh, from those levels, it is now rebounding and almost 20 pips up from the day's low. But uh, majorly speaking, the momentum is uh, clearly on the bearish side. It is not totally bearish. There is no one way big move. It is more of an uh, consolidation with the bias being on the bearish side. So even if I think we get to see the GBP climbing back closer to the prior swing high, on those levels again, we can start looking for short selling opportunities unless there is any reversal and a fresh swing high formation above the day's high. So till then, the outlook remains uh, bearish or you can say uh, bearish in which we expect the range to hold not a uh, one-sided big move but uh, within this range, the outlook is uh, of course on the bearish side. Now we have to figure out which uh, currency cross to go short or go long and on which prices. So for that, we do have to keep in mind the relative strength and weaknesses of these uh, major currencies. So we were uh, speaking and if you recall, we had the Euro USD with the bearish momentum, most bearish momentum, which was then followed by NZD, AUD, GBP USD. And uh, for CAD also, the momentum is uh, on the weaker side where the dollar is uh, continuously gaining ground. And if we now compare it to the GBP USD, which we just saw, the CAD uh, is seemingly on the weaker side with it is not even correcting from the uh, higher side. It is uh, still pretty much on the day's high. So the CAD is, uh, of course, comparatively speaking, on the weaker footing compared to the GBP. Let's see the USD CHF. USD CHF has uh, continuously made these uh, higher highs throughout the day after making these uh, low at 615 GMT and uh, it uh, climbed on the higher side at 15.5 GMT which is uh, earlier compared to what we are observing for the other currency crosses like GBP USD, USD CAD, Euro USD. I think Euro USD we will have to see when it made the fresh days low. For the Euro USD, this uh, low came in at 1455 GMT, which is ahead of the USD CHF. So we still have the clarity where we have the strongest of the bearish momentum in Euro USD, and uh, it is also followed by the USD CHF. If we look at the magnitude of this uh, rise, it is uh, 35 pips. And uh, for Euro, I think it is less. So we will have to put the USD CHF ahead of the Euro USD. CHF is definitely on the weaker side, even compared to the Euro against the dollar. So first preference, if you are trading with the dollar sentiments on the bullish side, then the USD CHF should be the first preference if you want to go for any buy trade. And uh, for optimizing our trade, we will of course have to keep in mind these uh, Prior swing lows, the immediate swing low came in at 94 0 0.9460 and uh, that should be considered as an important marker moving ahead into the North American trading station and of course for a full pledge reversal we will need the USD CHF to decline further even below this uh, prior low which is uh, kind of far away from the current valuations and uh, unless there is any significant move from these levels I am not really expecting this uh, prior low to be reached anytime soon but of course in market you can't really rule out anything but as of now as the things stand we have the we have the 
momentum on the dollar side so we will do well to go with the flow and uh, keep looking for opportunities to buy the dollar and sell other currencies so keeping that theme in mind we just have to figure out the relative strength and the weaknesses and if we look at the usd jpy earlier in the day it was the lead it was in lead but after that it seems to have stagnated and uh, it's been a while since it made its uh, high day high at uh, 14 gmt and since then it has corrected or you can say it is simply consolidating in this uh, narrow range of uh, 30 35 pips the momentum is uh, clearly on the bullish side so even later in the day we will do well to keep looking for the buying opportunities as long as this level holds i feel that uh, after this uh, consolidation and if it doesn't really break on the lower side below this uh, swing low here also you do have the opportunity to profit from these uh, bullish sentiments and uh, as i said we need the best of the currency cross to go long with the dollar and for that as the things stand the usd chf seems to be the best bet followed by the euro usd and uh, after that other currencies followed follow with uh, aud usd being the weak link it is not uh, in the strongly bearish momentum and gbp usd is not much different either it is simply playing within the range with the larger momentum on the bearish side with this formation of uh, higher lows uh, sorry lower lows and uh, lower highs so that's something to be kept in mind now we turn our gaze to the equity segment and uh, see what's the development so far there in equity space after yesterday's uh, thanksgiving holiday we will be back with the action in the us market for uh, three three and a half hours so if we have to now figure out the opportunities to trade with we will have to i think uh, work with this range we have this um, dojo industrial average hovering within this uh, range of 100 points and uh, these are actually the dojo industrial average future pricing so we can expect this range to enlarge after the start of the north american trading session and uh, unless and until there is any significant break on the higher side we can pretty much expect this uh, consolidation the ongoing consolidation phase to continue and we can correct we can expect some correction on the lower side so that uh, remains a possibility with uh, a possible move towards these uh, prior uh, swing lows the yesterday's low which was there at around 34000 so that is something of a possibility and uh, for that we will of course have to watch out for this uh, immediate swing high which is there around 34000 to 87 so if in this ongoing consolidation if there is no any break on the higher side then i think uh, we will do well to utilize this range and uh, initiate some short sale trade closer to the <coughs> days high with this uh, momentum being on the range bound sideways manner we can't really expect any big moves but uh, even in this range if we get it right we will be on a profitable side now let us uh, consider the picture for the s p 500 and the nasdaq for uh, s p 500 the things are looking a bit more bearish compared to the dow jones where we had uh, the formation of a high but for s p 500 there is a formation of a lower low and uh, lower high in case of the dow jones at least we have a higher high and uh, lower low so things are uh, a bit confusing but for s p 500 things are clearly on the bearish side so we can uh, prefer to short the s p 500 compared to the dow jones industrial average if we have to go for any short sell trade and if we feel that on the lower side these uh, equity indices are finding some support then the first preference for any kind of buy trade closer to the support should be given to the dow jones industrial average as we have the s p 500 trading with a lot more bearish momentum compared to the dow jones industrial average let us consider the developments for the nasdaq as well and uh, when it comes to nasdaq i think nasdaq is actually leading 
there is a bearish charge of all these three key million dollars for the United States. The Nasdaq is having the sustained move on the lower side. So if you have to go for any short sell trade, then I think uh, the preference, of course, has to be the Nasdaq. So for that, we will have to keep in mind the immediate uh, swing highs. For Nasdaq, it is coming in at around 11,840. Right now, it is 50 pips below that level. So watch out for this uh, price area of around 11,850. So unless and until there is any significant break above this price area, if we see some sort of correction from the current levels and uh, due consolidation on the higher side, then I think in next leg of rally on the lower side, we can uh, try to profit from this uh, prevalent bearish sentiment. If we look at the larger picture, the Nasdaq has um, corrected somewhat from this uh, high made at uh, 11,900. It is almost one percentage point lower from that highest point. But uh, it is still in the corrective territory. We can't really say that the things have changed. So unless and until there is a break below the immediate swing low, which is there around 11,700, we will have to keep in mind that this might be more of an consolidation phase with the bias in today's session remaining on the bearish side. So we will do well to short it closer to the day's high or at least closer to this uh, prior high. Chat, I will check just a minute. And uh, coming to this NASDAQ price formation, we have the sentiments which are on the bearish side. And if there is any query, Okay, all right, we're coming back to the question sessions. Now, let me tell you about this amazing opportunity. With the momentum on the bearish side, we will have to keep our outlook on the bearish side. So we have to keep this uh, prior swing lows uh, and the swing highs in mind. So here, the NASDAQ should be given the first preference. Genesis, the indicators used are uh, SMA, the 12 and uh, 24 combination that means we are using the moving average of last one hour and two hours respectively and then we have the range in play place at two hours and four hours respectively and the candle time frame is of five minutes so we get a clearer idea of the developments on the shorter time horizon also and we can respond quite quickly let us move to the european equity indices and see the developments there for the dx the day so far has uh, been of a range bound trading session with this high formed at 14580 and the low at uh, 14490 and if we expect any big move in today's session i think we will be in for disappointment there is uh, not much open sentiments if we consider the 
price moves so far for the week we have is a big move in yesterday's session and after that those levels are uh, simply holding up we didn't really get any big move on the lower side so broadly speaking from the larger time frame we have the sentiments on the bearish side and this is uh, can be considered more of an correction from those levels or consolidation and uh, as things are looking a bit bearish for the us equity session we can uh, expect this correction phase to last a bit more longer and unless there is any significant move on the higher side above these uh, immediate uh, swing highs of in the range of 14,570 and 580 we will uh, have to keep looking for short selling opportunities whenever we get it closer to this uh, immediate high with the possibility of a fresh break on the lower side even below these uh, 14,490 now if we consider these uh, index in uh, comparison with the other indices, the FTSE 100. For FTSE 100, things are a uh, bit on the bullish side. It is uh, it is consolidating after having made a high. It is high at 7,495, and from those levels, it uh, it is uh, somewhat lower, but still, it is well above this uh, prior high. Uh, sorry prior low from during the european trading session so unless there is a break on the lower side i think for the ftc 100 also we will have to utilize this range and adopt a scalping kind of approach where we look for the sell closer to the day's high uh yes demo count for the stream and making 24 hour lasting positions using the indicators yeah i tried that genius now coming back to the ftc 100 formation we will have to keep this uh, scalping approach in play and uh, here if we compare its uh, price action to the last session the yesterday's trading session here it is pretty much within this uh, range and on the higher side we have resistance in place around 7500 and uh, on the lower side we have 7440 so here in today's session i'm not really expecting any big move and uh, as i said with the sentiments for the us equity indices turning bit bearish we will have to prefer to go short and uh, us session being a curtailed one we will have to also gear up for a early close so big move should be not really expected in today's session and accordingly we will have to keep the expectations in check and uh, trade carefully let us see the eu stock 50 for eu stock 50 the picture is looking much more similar to the ftsc compared to the dx dx we have at least uh, fresh swing low and uh, swing high which is lower compared with the prior high in place for FTSC and for EU stock 50 things are slightly more bullish but uh, not much so here also the approach should be off scalping with the possibility of a break below this immediate swing low so the lead is there with the US equity indices and uh, particularly for the Nasdaq so we have the sentiments quite bearish for the nasdaq which are then followed by other equity indices so if you have to go for any short sell trade then the first preference should be given to the nasdaq and if you are not really expect uh, expecting the market to correct further then the first thought should be given to the ftsc 100 which is holding these levels quite well and uh, here we still have the formation of a higher high and a higher low in place unless and until there is break below these 7457 price zone till then we have this uh, formation of a higher high and a higher low so that should be kept in mind now as we have seen most of these uh, currencies and the indices i think uh, before we wrap up we will have to take a look on the commodity space where we will consider the light crude oil in the light crude oil futures 
and the brand futures to see who is the leading one and who is the lagging one for the euro things are uh, on the bearish side with this uh, lead with being with the usd chf okay let's see what's the development for the light crude oil For the light crude oil, the day's range seems to be in these uh, 200 cents. The high was made at around 79.87 USD per barrel. And if you look at the day's low, the day's low came in at uh, 77.70 USD per barrel. And uh, after making this high, the gains haven't really been able to sustain and we have this decline, which is almost now more than one percentage point. This decline is now approaching close to the two percentage points. So things. The indicators used in the stream are uh, simply these uh, moving averages. One is uh, for one hour with this uh, 12 candle period calculation and uh, five minute being the candlestick so we get this one hour moving average and uh, two hour and for this uh, range to define the range i am using this donkey channel 24 and uh, here this candlestick being five minute simply means we are looking at the range of two hours and uh, four hours respectively so we are utilizing the moving average price of one hour and two hours and the price range the total high and low range of last two hours and four hours respectively so using that we can uh, figure out these uh, relative strength and weaknesses of these uh, various instruments of the same class and uh, using that we can figure out which particular instrument should be given the preference whether we are going for a short sale trade or whether we are going for a long trade we can do the comparison and then trade accordingly on the instrument which is showing the strongest of the sentiments on the side of our choice now coming to the light crude oil's price action data if we consider its uh, price action for last uh, couple of sessions here its 24 hour moving price is uh, at 78.5 usd per barrel and it is approaching that price zone and if we look at these uh, yesterday's price action it was subdued and that was expected as we had us close in yesterday's session so in uh, today's session Yeah, we will take a look on the euro usd as well just a couple of minutes more now that the sentiments are turning bearish for the light wood oil we can expect a break on the lower side but for that we don't really have much of an time so i think a big positional trade should be awarded in today's session and it will be a better idea to think uh, to wait for monday's session and as we have already seen a big move in the light crude oil so if we short it on the current levels it will be a high risk trade so we have to use this uh, prior swing high and uh, this prior swing low to define the range and as and when there is some correction from the current levels and due consolidation without break above this uh, immediate swing high in that case i think we will have a much more profitability in place let us now consider the price action for the brent okay ethereum and usd are saying all right friend just a minute so here in this case of these uh, two crude oil futures the brent is on the leading side in this decline with it now almost approaching this uh, prior swing low established at uh, 85.36 usd per barrel so if you want to decide to go short i think the first preference should be given to the bend instead of the light crude oil now we move back to the currency space and uh, let us find the ethereum usd
for ethereum usd things are uh, looking slightly on the bullish side with the formation of these uh, higher highs and the higher lows after making this low at uh, 1168.3 usd earlier in the day and uh, let us consider its uh, larger time frame formation it is uh, more of an, a consolidation phase after the substantial gains in this prior session so in today's session we will have to use more of a scalping approach in ethereum with this range likely to hold and uh, not many big moves on the card we will do well to keep this uh, immediate swing low in mind and if we have to utilize this uh, opportunity if we get this consolidation without break below this immediate swing low which was formed at 1210 gmt i think we will have to look at the other currencies of the same space let's see what's happening with the btc the bitcoin Seventeen forty GMT on the twenty second. All right, we can go back in time. Yeah, that's where it uh, turned the corner, and uh, since then it has not really looked back. And if we compare its prior price action, it is almost close to the prior swing high, and that's where it is consolidating. So here we will uh, expect it to consolidate and as today's session is likely to remain uh, a range bound one we will have to simply utilize this range and uh, trade uh, with this um, immediate swing low in mind so we can expect this range to hold with bias now slightly on the bearish side if we go back in time this day's high was formed about 1200 and since then it has corrected somewhat so on the higher side the possibility of a uh, short sale trade can be exploited with this uh, immediate low also in place now let's see the btc bitcoin is uh, having a similar price trajectory with the uh, consolidation bitcoin cash it is okay For the Bitcoin, let's see who is the leading one compared to the Ethereum. The low was made at 8 GMT for the Bitcoin and for ETH. The low came in early. And uh, after that, it turned the corner. So we have slightly bullish tone undertone in the Ethereum compared to the Bitcoin. So if you want to go long against the dollar if you want to go long in the crypto space and if you expect the dollar to remain subdued then i think the preference lies with the ethereum compared to the btc there is not much of a difference between these uh, two but uh, sentiments are slightly stronger for the ethereum compared to the bitcoin but uh, largely both of these are likely to remain range bound with uh, a remote possibility of a big move in today's session but yeah, you can never know so pay attention to these immediate price action data and uh, as long as these uh, immediate swing low holds i think we can indeed take the trade but first allow some consolidation to happen maybe one or two hours can be given for the consolidation and if we see these levels holding then of course a new trade can be taken with the possibility of a further rise towards these immediate swing high uh, which is there at around 1196.4 all right so friend that's for all from my side for today's session of regression and correlation i hope uh, you find it useful and if you have any further query you can uh, of course uh, write to me and i would be more than happy to take the discussion forward so i'll be back on monday with uh, with the uh, respective currency crosses the instruments of same class being compared to figure out the opportunities in which we will have the higher probability of making money than uh, losing money. So thank you all for joining in. See you on Monday. Goodbye.